So a lot of people may have problems sometimes with sampling in Google Analytics. If you've got a problem with it, it could be due to incorrect setup, but more than likely it's probably because you have a huge, very busy website. Problem is to unsample the data by hand is near on impossible and would take absolute hours. In experiments that I've done against data that's been sampled within analytics and data that has not been sampled, is that the difference between sampled and unsampled can be very big, especially if you're dealing with e-commerce or your website. The goals are very important to you. And if you do have sampled data, you probably will have a big website and you will have goals and or maybe e-commerce sets up. And the difference in revenues can be very big and lead to bad decisions. So what we've done here at BMS Up is we've created a tool. Basically what it does is unsamples data. Of course, you can unsample data if you've got Google Analytics Premium. You just go to export here and there's an extra tab saying uh, create unsampled report, but it takes absolutely ages and you've got to pay the yearly subscription fee to premium. Well, it's very pricey for your average person or average small company for what it is. So what we've done is created a tool which essentially unsamples the data. It's not entirely accurate, but it's certainly better than using sampled data. It works with only tabled reports like the ones I'm looking at now. You can add a secondary dimensions. You can add multiple uh, advanced segments, as many as you want, and segments at the same time. It doesn't matter how much the sampling goes up to, we can do it. The only thing is with this tool, because of the way it works, you can't have sampling on one day. If you've got sampling switched on on one day, then you can't actually use this tool. So the way this tool works basically is, say I want to export for the month of May. In this case, this report isn't sampled, and that's because I can't actually show you one that is because of client privilege and whatever, but I can this one because it's a personal project. Anyway, so let's just say this report was sampled to 80% or something like that, and we want to get to the unsampled data. And it's sampling after two weeks worth of data. So here it's, as an example, would have something here saying this is sampled, and if I did, you know, two and a half weeks or whatever, it would say it's not sampled. So we know that if we've got two weeks worth of data, the data isn't sampled. So this is what we do to use a tool. So we selected this two weeks and a bit worth of data. We export to CSV. Then we export the rest of the month to CSV. Basically what my tool does is adds all this data together. Things that are completely accurate within my tool are sessions, are 100% accurate, and conversions, so how many goals and your, uh, your conversion rate, your goal value is 100% accurate, as is um, e-commerce revenue, e-commerce conversion rate, it's 100% accurate. And that's really what we want. We want to know the sessions, we want to know that. Other elements like new sessions, etc. everything here is less accurate. But as you'll see, I'll give you an example, it's still quite accurate. So we've, un we've exported CSV of these. So we'll go to our unsampler tool. And basically what we do is we choose the files we want. So it's this one and this one. We tell it what type of report it is. In this case, it's just a normal report. It's got no advanced segments and it has no secondary dimensions. But if it did have, it would give us an option to tell us which one it is or if they're both at the same time. We click next. It does the processing and we click on download. And it gives us something like this. It strips out the sort of unnecessary data and you get the unsampled data. Now, what you probably want to see is what the difference is between the sampled and the unsampled. So this is what I've done for the same date period. Um, I've just organized it up. So the ones in blue are using our BeamSups on Sampler. And the ones in orange are the actual real data when I exported the entire month uh, without sampling anything. So I've got here like Google Organic. That's exactly correct. This is slightly off. This is slightly off again. Bounce rate is slightly off, but by very small percentages. And so is this, etc., etc. But then, as I said, goal completion is exactly right, and so is conversion rate. Obviously, this is just a tiny portion of data. The bigger the data, the more accurate or inaccurate it can be. But you'll see it's pretty accurate and certainly much better than using sample data for your analysis. Hope you like it. And um, give us a shout if you've got any bugs. You probably will find it. Um, but as I say, we've been using this for quite a few months in the industry, and it's been working really well for us. Um, and other people have had access to it. Please share it and tell everyone about it and uh, let us know what you think. Thanks.